Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use the new Windows based Ledger Live application for managing your cryptocurrency accounts uh, on your Ledger Nano S or Ledger Blue. So let's get going. Okay, so the Ledger Live app was released recently. It's a Windows based application that allows you to manage your cryptocurrency accounts that are on your Ledger Nano S or Ledger Blue. Uh, and it sort of frees you from having to use Chrome. Uh, the old apps were Chrome based. So a lot of people don't use Chrome for their uh, default browser. So uh, they were kind of forced to use Chrome. So uh, I showed you how to set it up in the last video. And in this video, I'm just gonna talk about a little bit uh, more of its features and I'm going to do some transfers to and from the ledger so you can kind of get a feel for how that works. Okay so I'm going to launch the ledger live app and as you can see I'm at sort of the home screen the portfolio where it gives me a current value uh, based on the current uh, price of the different cryptocurrencies that I, I have added to this account and uh, it's live so it updates and I don't have to have the ledger connected to do this so it's kind of cool that allows you to uh, view all of your accounts in one interface and uh, gives you live updates of the current price all without having to have the ledger attached at all so I'm gonna go ahead and do a transfer so you can get the feel for that so let's just go up here to the main receive menu and see how that works so you get uh, an interface here which gives you the choice of which cryptocurrency you would like to use that you have set up on here. You may have more or less cryptocurrencies set up in this account. Today I'm going to do a uh, Digibyte. I'm going to send some Digibyte in. So that's my cryptocurrency of choice. And click continue. So what it wants me to do is connect the ledger. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, and it, this is nice too. Before, uh, you would launch the app and it would just sit there and wait for you to connect the ledger uh, and then enter the appropriate app. Uh, and it, if it didn't give you any indication that it was waiting for that, it just wouldn't open. So now they've cleaned up the interface, made it a little more user friendly, and it's indicating to me what I need to do with the device. Uh, so the device and the software sort of work in tandem with each other. So I'm going to enter my PIN. Okay, so now that I have unlocked the Ledger device, it asks me to enter the Digibyte app. So uh, I'll do that. You're at the home screen here. You just navigate over to the cryptocurrency app that you're interested in. And there it is. I hit both buttons. And now I'm in the Digibyte app. So, and I'll hit continue here. And then they have a little fail safe here where we verify the address. We want to make sure that the address that is displayed on the ledger is the same address that is displayed on the app itself. Uh, this is a fail safe so that you don't accidentally send your cryptocurrency to the wrong address, right? So now that I verified, I can copy that. And I'll go ahead and indicate that yes, the address is matched. All right. I can close this off. And then I'm gonna go over to my cryptocurrency exchange. And I have some Digibyte on my Bittrex account. So if you're familiar with Bittrex, I'm at the wallets page where it shows all the balances of the different cryptocurrencies that I own. And I'm going to uh, go to Digibyte here and do a withdrawal and the address will be that address that I just copied over from the uh, Ledger Live app. And I'm gonna go ahead and send the bulk of my cryptocurrency that's uh, over on the exchange. And it's gonna charge me a 0.2 Digibyte. You can see I've got that 0.2 left over, so that'll be enough to cover my transfer fee. And I'll just hit Withdraw Digibyte. And it wants my uh, two-factor authentication code and choose withdrawal all right and so the withdrawal is submitted and we can go back over here to the ledger live app and just kind of wait 
and uh, it might behoove us to be in the Digibyte app itself. Oh, there it goes. All right. So let's see. Uh, about two minutes, less than three minutes. Very quick. Very nice. Digibyte is a great uh, little cryptocurrency. It's not, uh, you know, worth a lot at the moment, but there are a lot of people who uh, believe in Digibyte, uh, has a big fan base, and it has been around a while. It's not some fly-by-night ICO thing. Okay, and uh, let's try a little Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin may not be quite as fast as Digibyte. Uh, if I recall, I've got a little bit of Bitcoin uh, in my Coinbase account. And I believe this was one of those little $10 bonuses that I got from someone that clicked my affiliate link down in, in the description, which I really appreciate. So uh, I've got that $10 here. So I'll just, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go over to Coinbase Pro because transferring it directly from Coinbase is going to eat up my uh, balance with some uh, mining fees on the Bitcoin network. If I use Coinbase Pro, uh, they absorb that. So I'm going to go to Coinbase Pro, get myself logged in here. I'm going to go over here to Wallets and choose Deposit. And I'm going to deposit Bitcoin from my Coinbase Bitcoin wallet. You can see over here that I have uh, a balance. I'm just going to max it out. It's not that much. But it doesn't charge me anything to transfer from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. Now it's not going to cost me anything to transfer it from Coinbase Pro over to my ledger. So uh, let's do a receive. And this time it is going to be Bitcoin. And it wants me to enter the Bitcoin app. Yeah, I was currently in the Digibyte. So let's exit that. We'll just navigate over here to quit app and choose both buttons. So we'll just navigate over here to Bitcoin and click both buttons. And it should be happy. Or is it? Well, okay. All right, so it's being a little finicky. So I'm just gonna close this window. I'm currently in the Bitcoin app, so let's try that again. See, and that time it worked. So it's a bit quirky, but uh, it does work. So I'm going to go to verify again, and this time I'm just going to look again at that address that's uh, spinning across there and confirm that it matches with the address that's displayed here, and it does. All right, now I can copy this address, close this off, and go over here to uh, withdrawal. I'm going to withdraw Bitcoin. And I'm going to send it over to my Ledger Nano address that we just copied. And I'm going to get it all. All right. All right, so I just max it out there. And I'm going to choose withdrawal. And I got to enter my two factor authentication that I set up for my Coinbase account. The Coinbase uh, two-factor authentication code works with the Coinbase Pro. So uh, you don't have to create a separate Google Authenticator app for Coinbase Pro. All right, and then I can go over here to my withdrawals and see that I just withdrew little refresh there and see that I just withdrew those uh, that small amount of Bitcoin that eleven dollars and thirteen cents and we'll go back over here and see if I receive some Bitcoin and there it is I already received it so Bitcoin uh, is working good lately much better than December of 2017 so I just transferred that extra eleven dollars in here so now we can go back to the portfolio and see that the total balance now reflects the latest transfers. So I really like this interface. Uh, I still have to, you know, navigate in between apps on the device, but I no longer have to a use Chrome uh, to uh, access my uh, balances and make transfers. 
I don't have to switch between apps anymore either. I can use one unified interface to send and receive cryptocurrency and uh, view my balances without having to open and close different apps. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so let's try uh, sending some crypto out of the wallet just uh, so you can get a feel for that. So I'm going to log in. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and send this Bitcoin out uh, to an exchange just so uh, you can get a feel for how this works. All right, so if we want to uh, deposit some Bitcoin into our Binance account, we're going to need to uh, pull up the uh, Bitcoin wallet, and here it is, BTC. And we want to do a deposit. So we'll do a deposit, and we're going to copy that deposit address over. All right, so let's go back to our Ledger Live, and we're in the Bitcoin uh, account here, and we'll just do a send. And the recipient address is the one we just copied from Binance. Uh, I guess there's not a straightforward way to just send the entire balance. So let's just uh, send the 0.01. Leave a little bit left, not too much. All right, and the network fee, I'm just going to leave it at standard. Uh, it's not a whole lot. I don't want to eat up all of it with the network fees. So I'm going to hit continue. Now uh, that I've uh, initiated this send, it's going to indicate to me that it needs access to the Ledger device, which I really like this feature. Uh, the old apps really gave you no indication at all that you needed to do something with the device. So here it's telling me to unlock my device, which I will do. All right, and now that I've unlocked the device, it wants me to enter the Bitcoin application, uh, which I will do by uh, pressing both buttons. All right. When I press both buttons, I've entered the Bitcoin app, and you can see that the application um, indicates that I've uh, done what I need to do on the device. So I really like this. Uh, now, they want me to verify all transactions, and uh, if you look at the device, it wants me to confirm that transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click that. Now, you would want to double-check this address that you're sending to make sure that uh, it's the same address that uh, you intend to send to on Binance All right so we'll just click that confirmation and it wants me to confirm the fee it is going to charge me I'm going to get charged fees on the Bitcoin network that's just a fact of life all right so it sends that it says that it sent the transaction all right sixty two dollars worth of Bitcoin uh, gives me the ID <laughs> kids are having fun today all right and I can choose to view this in Explorer if I want to so it uh, launches the uh, Bitcoin blockchain Explorer and can give me uh, an indication that I've sent this out onto the Bitcoin blockchain and let's go over to our uh, Binance and see how things are coming along we can just go over here to balances we can look at our uh, Bitcoin wallet and see that there's nothing in there at the moment. But we can also go over here to uh, transaction history and uh, deposit. And you'll be able to see when the deposit comes in, uh, you'll be able to see that it will be processing. All right, so uh, we finally got an incoming Bitcoin transaction, only confirming one of two. Uh, so it shouldn't take very much longer to confirm. So what were we at? About uh, 654 when we initiated the transaction from the ledger. And now we're uh, confirming that it, uh, the transaction has arrived on our, in our Binance account. So uh, I've showed you how to transfer coins from two different places into the ledger and now I've done a demo of you know moving the coins from the ledger out to somewhere else it's really straightforward all you really need to do is make sure you have the proper receiving address if you want to send coins from one place to another in the case of from the cryptocurrency exchange to the ledger we went to the ledger and hit receive to generate our receiving address 
And then when we wanted to send the coins out of the ledger back to an exchange, we went to the exchange and generated the deposit address. And so it's basically the same thing, just in the opposite direction. So I hope you were able to wrap your head around uh, using the Ledger Live application to send and receive Bitcoins and altcoins. If you have any questions about anything that I did today, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to them. <laughs> and I'll do my best to answer them. So I'd like to remind you that uh, I do a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a live Q&A from L.A. I invite everyone to join me and throw out any questions that they may have. I hope to see you there. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. If when you do, there's a bell uh, right next to the little button that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.